Gavin Nordi from Griffith University, a marketing academic. Uh, I teach consumer behaviour and a range of other subjects. Um, that's me. My name is Eugene Chan. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Marketing at my University. And uh, I teach units in consumer behavior and integrated marketing communications. Well, I mean, the thing is about with, particularly if we're moving online, because not only is the consumer world, you know, much more digitally focused than it was, um, you know, the education, particularly higher education, is really moving towards the, the online delivery of courses. Um, what we're finding is students are really interested in not just the theory, but the application of the theory. Um, what, what they, in particular, I mean, at the moment, I'm actually teaching consumer behaviour. So what they really enjoy is having the reflective questions where we say, here's the theory, and you've already done it, you know what it is, um, but now we need to apply it. Now we need to even look back at the, the, the vignette potentially that, that we've discussed or that you've looked at prior to coming into class. And let's have the discussion about it. Because again, that's really where you get the, the sort of really deeper, richer understanding of the theory and how to apply it. And ultimately, that's what sort of leads to um, better practitioners in the, in the workforce. The field of consumer behavior is changing rapidly. In the past few years, we've seen advances in you know, the use of smartphones to shop online or sometimes to even pay with just, a, just with, our, with a mobile app. And so in this version, we've incorporated uh, new advances about uh, consumer behavior and how consumers use technology in their everyday lives in, this, in the marketplace, at the retail store, at the restaurants. And there's also a, an increase in the academic knowledge about marketing and consumer psychology and consumer behavior. And so we've incorporated the recent advances in the literature in this most recent edition. What, what I really like is the, the from the sec, from the first edition, we've upgraded some of the opening vignettes. And what we're really trying to do is situate the theory in the marketplace. So that um, rather than just learning some theory that might be a bit more abstract, um, students are really looking at it and saying, um, I can see how this is applied. And then they work through. So, I mean, that's the opening part of each, of each chapter. They work through the theory and then we have some reflection questions at the end that, um, that really helps them sort of then bring it all together for a deeper, richer learning. Well, we've tried to, in this edition, make the, the electronic resources, the mind tap features uh, more you know, more interactive and more and more rich. So we've not only obviously incorporated what's in the text itself, the updated theories and updated, you know, uh, considerations, tech considerations, cross-cultural considerations, but we try to make it a bit more interactive to keep students engaged uh, using those online features, uh, using these additional materials to really help them learn, learn the material and to help them better prepare for their assessments. Um, they, students really appreciate the whole uh, local focus. So, you know, it's one thing to look at Nike in the United Kingdom. It's another thing to look at Nike in Australasia and what they're doing there. Um, you know, because those things can be, can be vastly different, um, even within the brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hopefully our book is, uh, or our textbook is really... Uh, Appeal to that and being able to bring that in and give the students um, much more concrete examples of something that they can use in their ultimately in their industry careers. Students nowadays are not just you know, global citizens or global consumers but they're also ethical consumers as well and in a way younger people are more uh, aware of you know of sustainability and the ethical challenges they're more aware of these issues compared to let's say their parents or even to uh, the people our age and so I think um, incorporating more examples from the not-for-profit sector of like uh, from social marketing from ethical marketing uh, we have done that in the text there is a whole chapter devoted to that and we've also integrated you no know, other um, 
ethical or social marketing examples throughout the text, but I think that remains a challenge to really show that consumers nowadays, uh, is, they're not just buying things from an online store or from a retail store uh, that makes money, but they also, buy, uh, they also want to help other people, whether it's other consumers, uh, whether it's the homeless or donate to charity. These are also consumption decisions as well. I, I think um, this text uh, touches upon, but can also improve upon it at the same time. So, I mean, a major, a major sort of issue from teaching consumer behavior is that what we have is a lot of, um, you know, there is a lot of theory that we've borrowed from a whole range of disciplines, including psychology, economics, um, the humanities. Um, and you know they they, they are they're, they're fantastic because we've we've been able to develop the marketing dis discipline using those. The issue though is that you know probably over the last twenty years, there's particularly the research in marketing and in consumer behaviour has gone very much more towards the psychological mechanisms or the processes that are consumers are are, um, are going through to make the decisions which may not be directly um, sort of accessible for the average manager, say. So, um, I mean, I think what, what that really boils down to is it's a difficult teaching consumer behavior and saying, here's the latest research, which might have a really abstract sort of component to it um, and saying, this is how you can apply it in, a, in any given kind of marketing situation. So, um, I guess the, the transfer of, of the, the ideas from really current, modern, cutting edge consumer behavior research and bringing it into the classroom, I find that a real, a real challenge at the moment. 